Hey Kipsters! And during tomorrow's class, we're going to be talking about types of pollutions. By the end of class today, you will be able to explain how types of pollution contaminate water. Let's take a look. So there's two types of water on Earth. Surface water is any body of water above the ground. This would include oceans, lakes, streams, rivers, any other type of body of water that you see that's above the ground. Go ahead and jot that down in your notes now. The other type of water is groundwater. Groundwater, just like it says, is found underneath Earth's surface. It's found in the spaces in rocks or in soil and can be liquid form or frozen. So as you can see here in this picture, here's the house with the trees, and underneath the soil, there's actually lots of water underneath the earth. In fact, most of the water that you use for drinking or for taking a shower is water that's actually from underneath the earth that comes to your house from a pipe that's underneath. You can see the same thing going on here. There's underneath the rock layers, there is water that's found in spaces in between rocks and pebbles down below Earth's surface. Depending on the temperature and the location, this can be frozen or it can be in liquid form. So those are our two types of water, surface water and groundwater. Unfortunately, when waste or other material is added to water so that it is harmful to other organisms that use it or live in it, water pollution occurs. There's two types of water pollution. There's point source pollution and non-point source pollution. By the end of this lesson, you need to be able to tell the difference between point source pollution and non-point source pollution. Let's first start with point source pollution. Point source pollution comes from one specific site, and it's easier to control. So for example, an oil spill from one specific site could cause much of the Atlantic Ocean to be polluted. Non-point source pollution comes from many small sources by runoff or by seeping into groundwater. It's a lot harder to control because it's coming from many places. Here's what I mean. This is point source pollution. There's a major oil spill. A few years ago, there was a major oil spill in the Atlantic Ocean by Exxon, which is an oil company. Uh, they had a spill that caused millions of gallons of oil to be spilled into the ocean. You can see that this is coming from one location, though. So that is called point source pollution. Non-point source pollution is like what you see here. It's runoff that comes from fertilizers on farms or as you can see usually when you uh, after it rains and you're walking down the street and you see that there's streams of water that's coming into um, the drain that's in the street, that's non-point source pollution. It comes from many places. So as that water is seeping down and running into the drain here, it's picking up pollution from here, from here, from here, and from many other places. So because it's pollution from many places, it's non-point source pollution. Non-point source pollution, unfortunately, is a lot harder to control because it comes from many different places. Let's practice by taking a look at these. You can see on your paper that you see number one where it says acid rain. I want you to write if acid rain is a form of point source pollution coming from one place or non-point source pollution, meaning it comes from many places. Go ahead and take a second to do that now.
If you identified acid rain as non-point source pollution, you are correct. Acid rain comes from many different places. It comes from the exhaust from this truck, from factories putting smoke into the air, and then it comes down from the clouds in the form of acid rain, which is essentially like polluted rain. But we can't point to just one source. There's many sources that cause acid rain to exist, so that is non-point source pollution. Let's try another. Water from a landfill running off and seeping into groundwater. Write point source or non-point source pollution on your paper now. If you identify this as non-point source pollution, you are correct. Again, it's an example of runoff. And in runoff, that means that pollution is coming from many different places. And because it's coming from many different places, it's harder to control, and it's called non-point source pollution. Let's try our hands at another. A homeowner dumps waste, like you see in the picture here, from his trash can into a nearby stream. Point source pollution or non-point source pollution? You should have identified this as point source pollution. We can definitely tell here where the source is. This man dumping water into this stream is one source. It's easy to identify and it's a lot easier to control. So the correct answer here is point source pollution. Finally, oil drips from cars. Write down your answer now. The correct answer here, again, this is an example of runoff, and because it's going to run off into groundwater or run off into streams, this would be non-point source pollution. Remember, any time pollution runs off, it's always going to be non-point source pollution. That's all for now. We'll practice more during tomorrow's lesson. See you soon.